everyone, this is Instructor Joy. Thank you for tuning in. Um, so this is the music that we're going to work on today. series um, it is well um, I decided to pick this particular hymn uh, because it it allows us to play a little double stops so um, this double stop is not too very not too very hard so any of you who are somewhat new you might want to try that one so now let me first show you what kind of key or what kind of uh, scales we're gonna use the um, common hymn book version it's got five flats, which is D flat major. Remember, a lot of hymns are written for voices, for the choir. So it doesn't always work for us violinists. So it, just feel free to change keys, whichever works better for you. So I changed that one from um, D flat major, which has five flats, the original version, to D major, which is just two sharps, F sharp and C sharp, which is very easy. So that works like this. So you would use mostly D string and A string. So first finger, second finger, beside a third, and you can use pinky if you like. Same thing goes on A string. That's exactly the same position. So D, and E, F sharp, G. Fourth finger A. Or if you are somewhat new to a fourth finger, just feel free to use open A. Now first finger on on A string, second, that would be the scale. So now, once you found that one, so let's go straight, let's jump in straight to the double stops. So double stops, let's see, when you press the uh, string near the bridge, you feel it's quite tense, it doesn't, the string does not go much. But if you go away from the bridge, but rather press it near finger uh, board, you see the string moves a lot, which means strings closer to the fingerboard are more flexible which means it's easier for us to play multiple strings so that's what we should do so learn to place the bow not too close to the bridge but rather away where the strings are more flexible yeah and then see if you can do a and d string now here remember the height of your right arm plays also an important role for a string the uh, height of your elbow is about like this for d string you will have to raise it since we're going to play both strings, A and D string, you would place the height of arm in between. Yeah? In between means a little higher than A string, a little lower than the D string. Yeah? So that it allows us to do, to be on both A and D string. And then place a bow where the strings are most flexible. And see if you can draw. Relax way. Yeah? Common mistake would be a lot of violins try to forcefully press it. And we think we have to press it quite hard. Um, sometimes it's the case, but most, most of times it's not necessary. Some, so just try to uh, place the bow where you could touch both strings and allow the bow to sit and then just go sideways. Just like any single strings, you would treat that double, double string a similar way. And, yeah. So if it's too hard uh, to make both strings to speak, uh, simply by speeding up the bow, meaning use your bow quickly, tend to help also. Because when you do slowly, it's harder. So, of course, you can practice that one slowly, but if it, you're having a hard time, or if you're somewhat new to double stop, just um, move your bow faster. Yeah. And another thing when you to play double stops, remember we have a lot of hair, and we sometimes adjust the amount of hair that gets contacted on the string 
for different dynamics or different kind of bow strokes. In this case, since we need to touch both strings, flatten the hair means make sure your whole hair is sitting on the string, not tilted. Yeah. So all flat hair, and then make sure you place the bow closer to the fingerboard and fast bow speed. <laughs> one you could do each string just as an exercise Next. so now once you're done let's go straight what uh, the double step that we're gonna use here so we're gonna play open A and D at the same time then what we're gonna do while keeping open A we're gonna do on D string one zero one two three now here, keep in mind, if we play just normal uh, D string, your hand position looks like this. Oops. Which your hand lightly touches the A string. But when you play open A, you have to make sure your finger, the fingers do not touch the A string. So you have to push your hand a little this way to the right. And then almost the finger stands even more edgier. Not like this, but even more at the fingertip yeah normally it would be only like this or a little more rounder but almost like allow the fingertip sit even more at the end of the fingertip so that we make sure the open A stays untouched like this now first finger like this stick out this much but this is a special occasion so let's go that one so here we do the the chorus part then we do with up bow dna string so you would practice this open string first make sure you learn how to how to control your bow then, remember you have to allow the bow to go to the fingerboard your bow to the fingerboard flat once you're done then apply your left hand stops uh, could be and it, this is a very easy and simple way of starting double stops in my opinion I hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and hope to see you again please remember to subscribe and share my videos